And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dave Chappelle. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good to be here tonight. Good evening, Caesar. You know, it's, it's an honor to be here tonight because I'm from Washington, first of all. I started doing stand-up uh, right here in the city, and, and the man that we are honoring tonight is a huge part of the reason that I started. Like, I wouldn't have known that it could be done until I saw it done correctly. Uh, now, in 1982, before I started, with all the old or older comedians would say, is that the holy grail for a comedian was The Tonight Show. You do one spot on Johnny, if you did good, you were in. Now, in 1982, 19-year-old Eddie Murphy did his first spot on The Tonight Show. Uh, what you're gonna see when you see the clip that I'm about to throw to is something that looks inevitable. It's not like watching a guy who's doing his first Tonight Show if you never saw The Tonight Show before, you'd wonder whose show it was. <laughs> this is absolutely brilliant. This is one of the most ice cold performances ever on Johnny Carson. <laughs> because I said, so no, really, it's some gangster. <laughs> so please join me in enjoying Eddie Murphy's first Tonight Show appearance. If you have watched Saturday Night Live the past few months, you already know my next guest. He is, uh, he's emerged as one of the brightest lights of, that, of the cast on that show, and this is his first time on The Tonight Program. Would you welcome Eddie Murphy? Eddie? Thank you. Shut up. <laughs> oh. I've been in, um, oh, this is nice, California. I've been out in here for about three days. If anybody see me walking around, I have to explain. I had the same suit on for three days. Because <laughs> I like this suit. I bought it from the catalog, and I enjoy it. You ever see those guys modeling clothes in the catalog? You ever see those guys doing the same thing in their suit? Every time I put on a suit, I gotta go like this. <laughs> I was just outside, standing in the front, going... <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> anybody ever see those guys that model their underwear in these books? <laughs> and they smile while they're doing this, stand out there going. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, Johnny said something about um, buckwheat a little earlier. He was talking about buckwheat. And I did buckwheat on my show, right? And I, the name buckwheat, I started thinking, right? I'm from a predominantly black family. <laughs> And I have yet to run into a relative named Buckwheat at a cookout, you know? <laughs> you can't just walk off the streets and walk up to somebody and say, Hey, how you doing? My name's Tom. What's yours? Oh, my name's Buckwheat, man. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, Buckwheat. That's my name. No, I'm serious. Buck... I ain't got no last name. Buckwheat. That's it. <laughs> I'm serious. You don't believe me? Ain't that right, Stymie? <laughs> hey, here's my brother Stymie over here. And don't leave watching me my other brother. Hold on. Farina! Yeah, Buckwheat and Farina. Mm -hmm. You know how most people name after their father? Me and Farina would name after their father's favorite breakfast. <laughs> Buckwheat and Farina. My mama named all the kids after Syria, man. That's my little sister over there. Her name's Shredded Wheat. <laughs> yeah, and uh, those are my twin brothers over there, Quisp and Quake, right there. <laughs> and that's my littlest brother right there. He's a little slower than everybody else. His name is Special K. <laughs> That did, that's my big sister. She a prostitute, her name is Trix. Stand, stand next to her is my big brother, he homosexual, his name is Lucky Charms. You might know. And that suit holds up. Uh, you know, sketch comedy is hard. 
I, uh, I had a show myself once. Yeah. Yeah. And probably the most memorable sketch we did was, was, was a playbook from, uh, was, was from Eddie's life. Uh, his brother Charlie had told a story one day at lunch about fighting Rick James several times. I don't know what it was. But we were all laughed and we said, we got to do this on the show. So we did the sketch. And what we used to do was we would, we would we would film the sketches and then we would, we would show them in front of an audience like this. But before we did it, before we showed the sketch in front of an audience, we had to go, we had to go see Eddie. So Charlie took us over to his house and we were like, well, we did this sketch and I just want to make sure that uh, you're okay with this. He said, okay with it. Why wouldn't I be okay with it? We said, well, just, just, uh, just take a look. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Eddie had a huge television in his basement and it was like the Godfather. He'd sit in a big chair and his back was to us. And he watched the sketch. I couldn't tell if he was laughing or smiling or anything because his back was to us. And then at the end of the sketch, his hands raised in the air like this. And he turned around and said, it was a red couch and Rick had on Capizios. <laughs> and gave us a green light. Uh, right now, I'm going to throw to probably one of my favorite sketches in the history of sketch comedy. This, ladies and gentlemen, is from 1982, or 81, actually. This is the first time. This is the first time we ever saw Eddie Murphy portray Mr. Wheat. <laughs> 